do you want to take a bite at this one? Jalen Hurts saying after the NFC Championship game that there are certain people that didn't want him around when he got drafted there in Philly. What does he mean by that? <laughs> Joe, what do you think he means by that? I think he means by that there were like, what, 55 guys picked in front of him? Well, I guess he meant um, Philadelphia, though. I think he said when he went, when I was drafted here, he made it sound like some, you know, no. that's the way I th- yeah. that's the way I took it. I don't know what you what what you might do. Anything that you might know about his drafting there that that we could read no, into it to the I fan mean, base. I, I, I know about? they, and this is what I thought he was talking about. I know that they had uh, great interest in drafting him, and I think the Howie and others have told the story. We were dead set on drafting Ralph Wilson. Mm-hmm. We actually had two twos. The second two, we thought about picking him, and then thought, "Now nah, we'll be able to get him in the third round." And we waited, and the Eagles were really, and obviously he got picked by Seattle, and we never got him. But the Eagles were really worried about repeating that, and they were really wanted their interest in Hertz to be unknown by anybody, mm-hmm. um, and be confident in that case that we're not going to wait, you know, indefinitely. Here we're going to go get the guy because there were people that still thought, "Nah, they bad." But that guy can't, you know, lead or start an NFL. You had to think non-traditionally about him to think he could be a guy that took somebody to the Super Bowl. So, you know, I just took it as they hadn't had much contact with him. He had no indication from them they were going to pick him. Hmm. Uh, but now that you say this, I guess there's multiple ways to hear it. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking. What so clearly he can't mean Howie in the front office because they 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 liked him. Was it uh, I? I I don't know, that benching in game 256 years ago and the final game of the year was just weird to see what you have in Nate Sudfeld. Yeah. I mean, that was just the whole thing. Yeah. With, I was wondering if he was referring to anything that was going on behind the scenes there or was it just the fan oh. base that was still into Wentz? I don't know what he was referring to, you know? Uh, that's interesting. I guess I had thought of it in a uh, in different light, but you could easily be right. Okay. Uh, listen, well, look, We're all doubting him. I know. He deserves a good. I told you so. <laughs> I agree. I mean, and and look look at what he's become. He is truly remarkable. So do you got a do you got a, a first blush thought how it's going to play out between these two before I let you go, Joe? What do you think? You know, I I just think the key to the game is how Kansas City decides to play defense. I mean, the 49ers had a really good defensive game plan in the first half of this game, mm-hmm. and they may have won it if it hadn't been for the the quarterback injuries, all of the above. Uh, Kansas City usually plays a four-man front with two linebackers and a lot of nickel. And that's actually the defense against Her- which Hurts has had his most success. So the question for me is, the Chiefs going to be like, we're going to do what got us here, in which case I think the Eagles offense will do really well. They're likely to win the game. Or they're going to say, no, this is a unique opponent, and we have to do something very different. What the 49ers did was they had five or six guys on the line of scrimmage. Now they dropped plenty of them. They weren't forcing every play. But it created an opportunity to stop the run with five or six guys in the line um, and confuse as to what they were going to drop into. Was it zone? Was it man-to-man? And who was covering who? And I think that's the right way to play them. And if the Chiefs do that, I actually think that, you know, Mahomes has a chance to carry the day. So I don't have a pick. I can't even decide who I'm rooting for. But if you want to watch for a key factor, I think watch whether the Chiefs are playing the usual kind of 4-2 defensive nickel or if you see them playing more guys in the line of scrimmage at the snap, uh, I think that's the key to what's going to end up happening in the game. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 